As cooler weather starts to set in, cattlemen and women should begin planning their treatment programs for external parasites. Lice are a common winter problem, and heavy infestations can rob cattle of valuable nutrition when they need it most. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck shares some steps you can take to control lice in your herd. With colder weather comes an increased threat of lice infestations in cattle. Dr. Bethany Patterson, a veterinarian practicing out of Hagerman, Idaho, knows firsthand the challenges lice can cause to cattle and the impact to a producer's bottom line. Lice make cattle extremely pruritic or itchy, um, and that is a source of irritation, which their irritation in and of itself is associated with decreased weight gains. The irritation also causes them to rub a lot, and so that causes them to lose hair, and also could potentially cause damage to facilities or equipment. So lice is definitely a cool season pest. Typically, um, the irritation and rubbing would be some of the first signs that producers see. Hair loss can be seen on the neck, the top line, and around the tail head, typically. Lice is definitely contagious. They can spread very rapidly. Um, certain types of lice don't even, or can reproduce asexually, and so um, it's definitely a problem, and if not taken care of, can get out of control pretty fast. In southern Idaho, the Anderson family has a long tradition of exceptional care and attention to the health of their Hereford cattle, starting when their operation was founded. We started with my mom and dad. They started a seed stock operation when my dad bought three bred Hereford heifers for my mom for an anniversary present. In 1986, I met my husband, and uh, we were married in 1987. He was not raised on a ranch. He was a meat cutter. He knew what the inside of a cow was supposed to look like, so he got to learn a little bit more about what the outside of a cow should look like. We are primarily a registered Hereford seed stock operation. We sell two-year-old bulls, yearling bulls, both Hereford and Red Angus, replacement heifers. Our son, Brian, works on the ranch with us, and he has a herd of cattle. And our daughter, uh, who is a student at Utah State, she also has a herd of cattle. So we are a third-generation operation. We want to have the best environment for our animals to perform the best they possibly can. With lice, we know that they like the chillier weather. We all kind of take on that responsibility of looking through the herd and the first signs of uh, lice infestation. Uh, we, we work to make sure that we get them properly treated. Herd health program is very important. It's strongly believe in it. Them cattle are uncomfortable and I, it's just, good to get them treated they're gonna they're gonna gain weight better they just look better they're not just driving themselves crazy trying to scratch an itch <laughs> even though producers may think of lice as more of a cool climate problem the issue can cause problems and performance losses in any part of the country here in Idaho, it's the perfect environment for lice. It's cold, um, their reproductive life cycle can take as little as three weeks. In other parts of the country, it's a little bit warmer and their life cycle may be prolonged, um, but they can still be a problem and why every producer needs to be concerned about lice in their herd. It's really important due to the economic losses. Cattle that aren't happy aren't eating they're losing weight. Um, it's an extremely contagious parasite, and so if you don't get control of it early on, it can wreak havoc in your herd. And then one single louse can turn into a million in just a few short months. So not getting that infection or infestation under control early can lead to a really massive problem in a, in a herd over time. Fortunately, there are options for producers to use in treating lice and getting ahead of a serious problem. Treating lice, the actual louse, is not necessarily hard, um, but the problem comes in with an infestation. And so what producers need to know, I kind of group them into three buckets, um, the timing, the administration, and then the individual animal. As far as timing, you have to make sure you do this not too early in the season, but not too late to where the infestation has taken over your herd. Um, administration is really, really important. You need to make sure that you're administering the right dose, not underdosing, and applying according to the label. Some products require administration down the pole, 
pole along the entire back line to make sure the full animal is covered. And then finally, as far as the individual animal, each and every single animal needs to be treated in your herd and also any direct contact animals. So missing one, again, can turn into an infestation of a million in just a few short months. Cleanup 2 is a product that has an insect growth regulator and that will take care of both stages all at one time. So those that have used Cleanup 2, um, they've noticed that they have not had to retreat the animals that they some years in previous would have to retreat. Um, so you're saving on that time, stress, labor of working those cattle again through the chute. A good relationship with a veterinarian is really important and you can have the veterinarian out to try to identify and even speciate what kind of lice you're dealing with and then what product you should go to and help you develop a treatment regimen to get that infestation under control as rapidly as possible. Cleanup 2 gives producers a weapon in the fight against lice and one that's easy to use. An advantage to using Cleanup 2 is that it has a maximum volume administered, so you don't necessarily have to get the exact weight of each animal. A maximum of 30 mLs for a thousand pound or above animal, otherwise it's three mLs per hundred weight. For one, you know, if the lice treatment is working, you don't have cattle with them bald spots, they're, they're easier to sell. I mean, it can mean $500 more a bull. James and Dawn Anderson make their living on the land, giving the best possible care for their cattle. The reason that James and I chose to, to come back onto the farm is there is no better way to raise children. And it's proven to be uh, very profitable emotionally as well as fiscally. And that's the reason that we, we look at different ways of taking care of our cattle and, and being more efficient in what we do. Um, is because it's, it's not just important to us, it's important way beyond us. In Idaho, I'm Matt Fleck, reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Lice can cause damage to your herd and your bottom line. For more information about lice management techniques and the proper use of Cleanup 2, visit alancolivestock.com.